live at 11. After 15 years missing, her remains were found. And CBS 21 News learns how flesh-eating bugs can help track down a killer. From your station for breaking news, this is CBS 21 News, live at 11. Well, it was dental records that helped the Franklin County coroner to identify Angie Daly's body. And that means even 15 years after a person's death, they can actually speak in a way. And there's a chance they can also identify their killer. CBS 21's Ben Russell is live at the Dauphin County Mobile Newsroom in Harrisburg. And Ben, uh, I understand bugs have something to do with how they do this. That's exactly right, Rob. And here's a basic example of how that works. A lot of people might look at this picture and say, well, that's a bug. But there are a lot of people who actually study these things. And they'll tell you this is a purple scent longhorn beetle that is native to our region and our region only because of the type of food supply it likes. So if somebody were to find this in California, someone would know that it actually originally came from here. And the grisly fact is there are a lot of bugs that actually feast on dead bodies. And depending on what kind of bugs are on a body and how old they are, investigators can determine when a person died and where they died. Dr. Ron Fury of Harrisburg University is one of those investigators, and he helps Dauphin County's coroner with many investigations. He tells CBS 21 News that there are certain types of flesh-eating beetles he can use to determine how a person died. For example, if someone was hurt with a, with a knife or a screwdriver or some other object and we need to identify the object by the tool marks that it left on the bone, we can use these insects to clean off the bone and get a good look at the tool marks. Now certainly the longer a body has been exposed to the elements, say spending 15 years in the woods, the less of a story it can tell. But certainly you can expect investigators are using every tool possible to figure out this and many other cases. Live at the Dauphin County Mobile Newsroom in Harrisburg, Ben Russell, CBS 21 News.